on Michael North. Now, Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, has posted a CP a Bartholomew Namde Onyeka to Plateau State Command as the new commissioner. The appointment follows the deployment of CP Edward Ebuka to the force headquarters for other national engagements. Force Public Relations Officer uh, Frank Mba made the announcement in a statement on Wednesday. Onyeka, who hails from Nkume in uh, Njaba, local government area of Imo State, holds a BA on Hans uh, in uh, public administration and master's degree in defense studies from Punjab University, India. Onyema has served in operational, investigative, and administrative capacities in Bochi, Imo, Abia, Zamfara State Commands, and Zone 1 headquarters in Kano. The IGP charged Onyeka to use his community building experience to improve public safety and security of lives and property. A high court in Abuja has adjourned hearing on a lawsuit by the coalition of northern groups seeking the organization of a referendum. A CNJ has sued the National Assembly on the Attorney General asking the court to compel the defendants to halt the ongoing constitutional review exercise and in its place conduct a referendum to determine what determines Nigeria and who populates it. The suit was aimed at determining the fate of agitations for Biafra, Yoruba Nation and other secessionists agenda. The case was adjourned till January the 20th, 2022, after the court before uh, Justice Inyang Ekbo uh, could not sit. Uh, they seemed due to official assignment. Fenifera leader Chief Ayo Debanjo has maintained that Nigeria may remain an old motion, no movement nation. If our constitution is not reviewed before the 2023 general election, declaring that if my son emerges as a presidential candidate of any political party, I will not support him if Nigeria is not restructured. The social cultural groups chieftain said this during a bi-weekly meeting of Yoruba Global Council, the body of progressive Yoruba sons and daughters at home and abroad, uh, tagged the platform. The body, which seeks respect and good placement for the Yoruba nation in Nigeria project, also drew accolades from Adebanjo, who commended the body for bringing themselves globally to promote unity as well as protect the interests of Yoruba sons and daughters home and abroad. No fewer than 20 people have been confirmed dead in the 21-story building that collapsed on Monday on Jarrett Road in the Koyi area of Lagos State. The incident occurred on Monday afternoon along Wesley Road in the commercial hub of the nation. While four persons were killed and five others rescued as of Monday night, the death toll and number of survivors rose on Tuesday as rescue efforts continued through the night. According to the spokesman for the National Emergency Management Agency, 16 more bodies have been recovered. He added that five more persons trapped under the rubble have been rescued by emergency respondents at the scene. That brings the total figure, those killed and rescued so far, to 22 and 10 respectively. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Obafemi Hamzat, who visited the site amid tight security, explained that the premise of the collapsed building has been sealed by the government agencies in charge of testing uh, for more investigation into the integrity of the structure. Earlier on IB, uh, Ibrand TV breakfast show Daybreak, Dr. Dayo Kayode, a political technocrat, uh, shared his thoughts on this sad development. From the stories I read, I learned that even the, the, the governor of Lagos State once locked that place. Correct. Stopped. The but then who was the person the that now gave the order that that thing should, should continue? Will you say he never heard of it that that thing has continued? Instead of suspending that person, he is the first person that is supposed to even resign as the governor of Lagos State mm -hmm. because he has failed in his duties and responsibilities to the Lagos State people. Look how many people that died there. If, if the governor, Papa Jide Sowon, had lived up to his responsibilities, that building wouldn't have happened the way it happened. That incident at that, at that, at that location wouldn't have happened. 
you locked up a place that they should stop work. And what still continued? What is the distance of that place to his office? I mean, to his residence at uh, that marina. What is the distance? Is he saying, is he saying all those uh, building control people that uh, start planning all this, they don't go around, they don't give him information, they don't give the commissioner information? Why are you not heaping in on, on, that, on that young chap who is just a general manager? Who is just a general manager? Rather than suspending that guy, he is the first person that is supposed to resign. If it is where, if it is where leaders has what we call hmm? it is you. <laughs> they call it it is you. Oh. Okay. You understand? I mean, you are you, you stopped the work somewhere. And then work continued. That means that means you don't have the temerity. To rule the state. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songolu, on Tuesday, ordered the indefinite suspension of the last car GM over the building collapse incident. Songolu, in a statement by the State Commission for Information and Strategy, uh, Wenga Omotosho, said the government had also set up a panel to probe the tragedy. The governor said, the government will surely find out what went wrong and punish those indicted. The governor, as a first step, has directed that the general manager of the Lagos State Building be suspended. Now, the inspector general of police, Usman Baba, during a visit to the scene, said that anybody found culpable will be made to face the law. Meanwhile, the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obasiki has commiserated with his Lagos state counterpart, Babajide Songolu, the families of victims and the people of Lagos state over the building collapse at the Ikui Lagos state, which has reportedly claimed the lives of at least 10 persons. The governor, who expressed sadness over the incident, urged the authorities to beef up emergency operations to ensure the rescue of those still trapped under the rubble. The National Emergency Management Agency has raised an alarm following a report of gas pipeline leakage in some parts of Ikeja, Lagos State Capital. The affected areas include Computer Village, Ikeja Underbridge, and of Awolowo Way, Oba Akron, Access, Anifo Woshe Street, and Medical Road. To avoid any fire outbreak, the spokesperson for NEMA a Southwest, Ibrahim uh, Fari Luye uh, asked uh, residents to avoid open fire in affected areas. Now, the chairman, Academic Staff Union of Universities, University of Abuja chapter, Dr. Kasim Omaru, on Tuesday said seven persons were kidnapped in the early morning raid on the institution. The Asu chapter leader called for prayers for the release of the victims. Gunmen had stormed the senior staff quarters of the Uni Abuja in Giri. Uh, Wagolada area council of the FCT on Tuesday around 1 a.m. and left with the abductees. Another lecturer, uh, Professor Basi Udom, whose two children were also abducted, said he narrowly escaped the incident. About the decadence of security in this country, is it only when we are all dead that people will know that there's insecurity in this country? Let everybody not start going to the gutters. I when I say these things, people will start to think. As I am, you look at me, I schooled in the University of Portacourt. And I have been a big boy. I know what to do. The situation is getting out of hand. Something has to be done. The poor are the ones suffering. A country that security that bandits will go and kidnap people in an army armory what will happen to some of us in these porous areas i am here seated in my house but my child is there in the bush my daughter is there in the bush this is man in humanity to man the annihilation of the downtrodden there's no more a voice for the voiceless Hi, Masito. 
The National Union of Teachers has condemned the kidnap of the Vice President of the Junior Secondary School, Yebu, in the Kwali Area Council of Abuja. The National Secretary General of the National Union of Teachers, Mike Ene, condemned the attack and called on the government to facilitate the release of Nuhu. Some yet-to-be-identified gunmen had on Saturday raided the staff quarters of the school and kidnapped the Vice Principal, Muhammad Nuhu. Uh, sources familiar with the matter narrated that the kidnappers who came in at their large numbers shot indiscriminately before making away with the vice principal. It was also mentioned that uh, the security personnel at the gate were tied to facility, uh, facilitate uh, easy operations. Now, the following an increase in the number of out-of-school out children in the southeast of the country as a result of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the United Nations Children's Fund has kicked off back-to-school campaigns. They also embarked on an enrollment drive of the out-of-school children in the area. The chairman of Universal Basic Education Board in the Ebony State, Chief Hyacinth Iqbo, disclosed this during a town hall meeting with the health teachers, PTA executives, parents, and other stakeholders at Afyukbo South local government area of the state. Iqbo raised alarm over the number of out-of-school children in Ibony state and said that all hands must be on deck to bring the children back to school because they are the future leaders of this country. Now, the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission has cautioned petrol marketers against unauthorized pump price increase and product holding. NUPRC's operations controller in Bochi, Abdullahi Ilyasu, uh, gave the warning on Wednesday. His warning came against the backdrop of long queues in some fuel servicing stations in parts of the state. Ilyasu said the federal African leaders are continuing to push the, the international the community for he more help with that. that defaulting marketers found shortchanging consumers will be sanctioned appropriately. He said that the official pump price remains between 162 naira and 165 naira per litre.